This is Mini Dragon Warrior Project version number four demo. And today we are looking at a new kind of map. Now this is probably uninspiring in a lot of ways compared to the previous video, but I promise you there's some cool stuff going on here. Uh, what happened to the map? Well, the map has changed because it is no longer auto-generated. If you see the build tile map here code, uh, whereas before, if you remember or even looked, uh, it would generate the map randomly. Now it's pulling it from test map. What is test map? Test map is this. It is a very simple test map. It's just in code, uh, but it's a separate file. So just for the sake of simplicity, uh, I am just including this Ruby file. This could easily be a JSON file or CSV file down the road, but for just testing, what I wanted to prove in this is actually loading a separate file so that eventually there can be designed maps. Um, that's the end goal is that this could be used in maybe an external program or something like that where you can design towns and outdoor environments and all of that. But to do that, you have to be able to load a map which has a data structure. And all it does is it just loads a simple file that builds this tile map. Now, just for proof that this works, we'll change up a couple of the tile map values. This will probably look super weird. But yeah, so as you can see, when we build it from a tile map, we can actually have um, all kinds of interesting designs. And you could sort of imagine that if the file was bigger and so on and so forth, you could make really interesting things out of it. But that's what this uh, bit of code gets us. And again, not a huge amount of code, nothing really had to change. All the movement stuff's the same. You can still move around the screen. It's a small map, so it doesn't really scroll. That's the demo version four. Hope you liked it.